Now starting off, we have Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian has changed her look so much over the years, looking like a completely different person after she steps out of the house. Now fans are now calling her out for her most recent change. She was seen out with her mother and friends at the end of May and she looked nothing like we'd seen before. Several followers thought her supposed filler and cosmetic procedures had been botched. That cheek filler is awful, wrote one user. She is beyond botched. The cheeks, the nose, she cut in half, the lips, my god, another added. The lip filler is going to migrate all the way up to her nose at this point, commented another. Now this was not the first time Chloe came under fire for her appearance, after fans noticed her lips looked enlarged during the season premiere of the new season of the Kardashians. Now in 2016, during an episode of Cocktails with Chloe, she admitted that she gotten fillers in October 2015, but she also claimed that she had the fillers dissolved not long after as they weren't for her. Then in 2019, she got a nose job. Now it seems like her look is ever changing though, and that's just something we have to accept. Up next is Ryan Gosling. Ryan Gosling's recent appearance has stirred up some controversy among fans as they think he's going overboard with his looks. Ryan attended SXSW for the premiere of his movie, The Fall Guy. While he took center stage in front of the cameras and crowds to share his thoughts on the film, online observers swiftly redirected focus to an entirely different aspect. Online platforms were flooded with remarks concerning his appearance. One person pondered, what's going on with with Ryan Gosling's face. Another said he got old. Now, additionally, numerous speculations arose regarding the cause of his altered looks, with some suggesting beauty procedures. One commenter remarked cheek filler overload, while another said filters ruined him, suggesting that the actor may have undergone cosmetic procedures. They remarked, look what a plastic surgeon did to Ryan Gosling's face. Men don't do this. Now, Ryan hasn't spoken out about this, but fans have continued to speculate. On to Selena Gomez. Online this year, someone commented on Selena Gomez's looks, prompting her to candidly share the cosmetic procedures she's gotten done. Now, the Instagram user told Selena to remove your cheek fillers slash implants, it's messing with your brain, but she clapped back, ha ha ha, I've had Botox, baby girl. While this marks the first time Selena revealed her use of cosmetic injectables, she's been open about her beauty journey. Now, Selena has also been judged for her body in the past before. You see, in 2015, Selena was diagnosed with lupus, a disease that occurs when your body's immune system attacks your own tissue and organs, aka an autoimmune disease. Now, eventually, her health problems became impossible to ignore and her kidney shut down, resulting in her needing a kidney transplant. Now, for those of you who don't know, after you get a kidney transplant, you have to be on a lot of different medications for the rest of your life. And some of these medications can affect your weight. That's why in the years since her transplant, we've seen her weight fluctuate. But you know the internet, whenever she gets bigger, they bully her relentlessly. Now, it's honestly just really sad to see as she has no control over it and is just trying to take care of her health. Now we have Black China. Black China took fans by surprise recently when she got all of her cosmetic procedures undone. The model and influencer, whose real name is Angela White, took to Instagram in March 2023 to document her journey, as she put it, getting back to the baseline. And her followers were all for it. China received plenty of praises as she filmed all of her doctor's appointments, starting with a visit to get her facial fillers dissolved. A visibly excited China removed everything from her cheeks and jawline to get her natural face shape back. I'm tired of the look and it's not flattering, she told fans. It totally changed my face and I'm just ready to get back to Angela. Now in another string of videos, she had her breast implants reduced, calling it one of the best decisions I could have ever done. Now finally, she got rid of her butt injections, which she opted for when she was just 19 years old. Now she also used the opportunity to warn others to not follow in her footsteps. Do not get silicone shots, she urged, explaining the long list of possible complications. Now, as for why she had the procedures in the first place, China admitted it was all about fitting in. I was so young, I just wanted that body, because I saw everybody you know, my crew, getting it. She told ABC News that April, I wanted to be with the It Girls.
Then there's Zac Efron. Since the viral video of Zac Efron in 2021, fans have had questions about his face and if he's had any plastic surgery done. He just looked nothing like himself and definitely did not look like the Troy Bolton we all came to love. Now there were tons of rumors and people even making fun of him, but Zac broke his silence and explained the real reason why he looked so different to fans. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, he explained that his different looking face was due to a jaw injury in 2013, not surgery. It sucks, I almost died, but we're good, he said. Now Zach broke his jaw and had to have his mouth wired shut after he was running through his house in socks, slipped, hit his face on the granite corner of a fountain and lost consciousness. Now when he woke up, his chin bone was hanging off his face. He added that when he was injured, the masseter muscles on the inside of his face and jaw compensated for his injury and grew massively in size, hence his transformation. Now back in 2021, Zach took some time off from physical therapy while in Australia, which caused differences in his looks as well. Now let's talk about Simon Cowell. Simon Cowell didn't want to age naturally, so he did Botox and plastic surgery, and it honestly just made him look scary. Simon revealed that he used to get Botox and other facial injections and didn't realize how bad he looked until seeing a photo from his past. He had an especially shiny face, nearly luminescent white teeth, and many enhanced features. Now he's been vocal about altering his appearance in the past, and his cosmetic procedures have included Botox, a 2018 facelift, and teeth veneers. He said, there was a stage where I might have gone a bit too far. I saw a picture of me from the other day and didn't recognize it as me at first of all. He also admitted that the anti-aging treatments made him look like something out of a horror film. But it seems like he just hasn't learned his lesson because literally just a couple months after that interview, he was unrecognizable once again in a viral video. Many people then made fun of his appearance, with many of them comparing him to Madame Tussauds Waxworks. Moving on to Rebel Wilson. Now, Rebel Wilson is getting candid about her weight loss journey, and in her book Rebel Rising, a memoir, she spoke about her brief experience with Ozempic. She said she took it for maintenance after losing weight. Someone like me could have a bottomless appetite for sweets, so I think those drugs can be good, she said, before noting that she no longer takes Ozempic. Now, the actress, who has previously opened up to people about losing 80 pounds following a year of health in 2020, told The Times that her decision to slim down came when a fertility doctor encouraged her to do so for a better chance of IVF. Basically, no one apart from my mom wanted me to lose weight, she said. Now, after she revealed her weight loss to the public, many people were praising her, but said that she looked nothing like her former self that we were used to seeing on the big screen. Then there's Courtney Cox. Courtney Cox has gotten some plastic surgery and Botox and has opened up and revealed that she regrets certain procedures she has had done to keep up with Hollywood standards. She said, well, what would end up happening is that you go to a doctor who would say you look great, but what would help is a little injection here or filler there. So you walk out and you don't look bad and you think no one noticed, it's good. Then somebody tells you about another doctor, this person's amazing, they do this person who's so natural. You meet them and they say you should just do this and the next thing you know, you're layered and layered and layered. You have no idea because it's gradual until you go, oh shh, this doesn't look right and it's worse in pictures than in real life. I have one friend who was like, whoa, no more. Now in 2016, she said, getting older is not the easiest. I've done things that I regret and luckily they're things that dissolve and go away. So that's good because that's not always my best look. Now the following year, Courtney let all of her filler dissolve, which was probably the best decision. Next up is Donatella Versace. Donatella Versace has never admitted to getting plastic surgery, but many experts have shared their assessment of her drastic transformation. Dr. David Rappaport profiled a timeline for Donatella's alleged procedures. From 2002 on, her face seems to have more artificially defined fullness, where now her lips seem to be overinflated, he said. Most recently, it seems very clear that she had a facelift scar that I can see in front of her temple area. You can see a fine line scar he said. Her face looks more taut and tight and she's clearly undergone facelift surgery, perhaps overinflated cheeks and lips. It appears as if her nose has never been done. And he added, mainly I would say facelift, somewhere between 2011 and 2014 she had one. The hairline has been lifted too high, it shouldn't end that high above the ear and it could be because she's had more than one, but we can't know for sure. Now regardless of what she's done, we know that she's had something done because her face looks completely different. 
And finally, we have Linda Evangelista. Linda Evangelista is a Canadian fashion model who is regarded as one of the most accomplished and influential models of all time. Now, Linda got some cosmetic work and had been seen in public for five years due to it being botched. On September 23rd, 2021, she explained everything. She revealed that she underwent cool sculpting, which she says left her unrecognizable, as it allegedly caused fat cells in her face to multiply. She explained it in an Instagram post saying, to my followers who've wondered why I've not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured by a procedure, which did the opposite of what it promised. Now, she said the procedure's rare but serious side effect not only destroyed my livelihood, it sent me into a cycle of deep depression, profound sadness, and the lowest depths of self-loathing. In the process, I've become a recluse. I'm so tired of living this way. I like to walk out my door with my head held high, despite not looking like myself any longer. Now, this is just extremely sad to me with being known as a beautiful fashion model and being told you're pretty all your life to deal with something like that is crazy. Now, thankfully, she's gained more confidence and is modeling again now, but I can't imagine going through something like that. First up, we have Eva Mendez. Fans accuse the actress of looking unrecognizable when she visited the Today Show on March 26th. She was talking about her latest business venture, but people couldn't help but notice that her face looks very different from only a few years ago. All the comments under that video were about her new appearance, with people writing things like, too much Botox and stop with the filler. But thankfully, there were also a lot of people who came to her defense. One comment said, there is nothing wrong with her face people, it's called aging and she is doing so gracefully. So that could be the simple explanation. After all, Eva Mendez has not admitted to going under the knife. The only thing she talked about was getting a monothread procedure in 2020. In a now deleted Instagram post, she shared a picture of herself with several needles injected under her jaw. The star got mixed reactions from her fans for that one, which is probably why she took the post down. But clearly, people are still drawing attention to her looks and claiming that she's had way too much filler on the lower half of her face. Speaking of filler, fans have also been accusing Emily Blunt of going too far, saying that she has now completely botched her face. Of course, they are being way too harsh considering that Emily has been in the spotlight for more than 20 years now, and it's only natural that she's looking a little different. After taking some time off in 2022, the actress hit the red carpet for the premiere of Oppenheimer the following year. And of course, fans were quick to notice that she had a whole new face shape. Although she still looked beautiful, her face was noticeably full and rounder instead of long and narrow. Her lips were also looking plumper than ever if you compare them to 2018. While Emily has yet to respond to these accusations, she has commented publicly on plastic surgery in the past. During a 2019 interview, she hinted that she did not like the idea of surgery because she loves imperfection. She said, in Hollywood, people are suffocated by plastic surgery, but striving for an impassive perfection isn't something I ever found beautiful or have tried to achieve myself, which is a great way to look at it. Some might argue that Kylie Jenner getting her famous pout was amazing for her, and others stand firmly on the side that it was a big mistake. Kylie's lip injections were, and still are, a hot topic, especially considering Kylie's most well-known makeup product from her brand were her lip kits. The marketing of said lip kits suggested to buyers that using them would give you the look Kylie had. Of course, that wasn't true for everybody. The lip injections were a good thing for the star because they were her trademark feature for a long time. Her lip kits, they would sell out within hours of a drop. However, some would argue the injections hurt the star more than they helped. Kylie's lips became the focus of plenty of internet bullying. Then, the false promise of getting Kylie lips with the lip kits had some people claiming the reality TV star was causing her younger audience to feel insecure. Turns out, even Kylie might agree. In a 2016 interview with Allure, Kylie shared that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point. She did continue sharing the reason why she felt the need to get the cosmetic procedure in the first place, saying, I got excited and felt like I needed to do a lot. And then her family was like, Kylie, you need to chill. And then I had to go back and have it fixed and it was a crazy process. Thank God I didn't end up unbotched. While Kylie regrets going overboard, she does not regret getting the filler. Though years later, Kylie has shared a new regret about getting work done and it's regarding her kids. She shared that she hopes her daughter, Stormy, doesn't feel the need to get work done in the future just because her mom did. Kenny Rogers has had quite a few cosmetic procedures done, but 
accidentally changed his whole image in the process. The country music artist shocked fans all over the world when he revealed a major transformation in the early 2000s. Of the procedures, the ones around his eyes caused the most chatter. Rogers was known for his sweet, gentle appearance, but many say his new look no longer reflects that. Post procedure, many described Rogers as looking constantly surprised. Fans were confused as to why the star felt the need to get plastic surgery done in the first place, a question Kenny answered in his 2013 memoir, Luck or Something Like It. Rogers shared that he was just trying to keep up with the younger stars in the country music scene and that he wanted a revamp. 2006 was actually the first time he addressed the procedures, commenting on his eye job saying it was too tight around the eyelids and that it drives him crazy. An interview in 2012 with CBS This Morning had the country crooner revealing that he regrets his decision. He said, I had the money to do it and I had time off and I regret that. But the truth is, I don't know what I would have looked like if I hadn't done it. Thankfully, he had some friends around to help him find humor in the situation. Dolly Parton apparently used to tease him about it. Beloved actress Jamie Lee Curtis shared her heartbreaking end to her plastic surgery journey. The actress has shared her thoughts regarding cosmetic procedures many times over the years, once going so far as to say, I've had a little lipo, I've had a little Botox, and you know what? None of it works. None of it. It's such a fraud, and I'm the one perpetrating it. Those comics came in 2002, but even two decades later, Curtis still sticks by her statements, echoing them in other interviews, and even sharing the heartbreaking detail that not only did the procedures not work for her, they made her reliant on a pain reliever for many years. She is doing better now, though, and has been good for over 20 years. Sharon Osbourne is no stranger to cosmetic work, but one procedure had her comparing herself to various mythical monsters. In 2021, Sharon Osbourne went in for a five hour full facelift. For five hours, you would expect to come out with exactly what you wanted. Unfortunately, Osbourne received her worst nightmare. In her words, she came out looking like a cyclops because one eye was different to the other. She also compared herself to a mummy since her face was covered in bandages after the extensive procedure. Sharon claims that when she showed her husband Ozzy Osbourne her new look, he said, I don't care how much it costs, we'll get it redone. It's now years later and Sharon is looking just fine. She did end up going somewhere else to get herself fixed up. The downside with that one though was that she had to wait until her face was fully healed before going back in. Osbourne is known for being very supportive of getting cosmetic work, receiving many surgeries before the facelift. However, the 2021 incident has left its mark. In an April 2023 interview, the star shared the disaster put her off the surgeries and that it now frightens her. She said, I really pushed it with the last facelift and now I am like, no more. Jennifer Grey's nose job pretty much cost her her career. Grey had just starred in Dirty Dancing, that massive hit movie you may have heard of it. The film was her big break, only after it came out it was rare you saw Grey on the big screen or small screen. It might have something to do with the nose job Grey received in 1989, two years after the film was released. When Grey got the nose job, her face looked very different. It's hard to know what your defining feature is until it's gone. Speaking on the nose job and its impact on her career, Gray said, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. I'll always be the once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. It's unfortunate that such a promising star felt the need to adjust her appearance and then lose out on opportunities for it. Though Gray wasn't working necessarily as much as she'd hoped, that doesn't mean she wasn't working. She had a few guest appearances on TV shows and even a few TV movies. She also made the excellent decision to go on Dancing with the Stars in 2010 and of course won the competition that year. Maybe the most famous celebrity cosmetic surgery situation was that of Heidi Montag. Montag was an actress in the show The Hills, but she is also known for undergoing 10 surgeries in one day. It happened in 2010 when she was just 23 years old. Two years after the surgeries, Montag did an interview with Access Hollywood Live where she revealed that she was definitely in way over her head when it came to the cosmetic work. The actress said she initially only wanted a few enhancements and then it got kind of out of hand. 
Some of the procedures Montag received on her face were a brow lift, Botox, and chin reduction. To make matters worse, Montag feels she wasn't properly prepared or hadn't explained to her well enough just how much pain she would be in after the procedures. She said, I wasn't told really the repercussions and what would happen emotionally and physically and the pain I would be in. I was kind of in shock. A good indicator for how bad the experience went for her is that she hasn't received any additional work since then. Almost a decade after it happened, Heidi shared her 32 year old perspective on the situation with Cosmopolitan, saying, I was way too young to make such a life changing decision and was under so much pressure because it was the beginning of comment sections and negativity and hate on the internet. The surgeries meant to fix these issues only made them worse, but it looks like the actress has moved on as best she can and is focusing on her current health. After being catapulted to mega fame in 1987 for playing Baby in Dirty Dancing, Jennifer Grey's career stalled. And though she was personally happy with her nose and its distinct bump, she underwent plastic surgery at the age of 29 to boost her career and gain more acting roles. But Jennifer said it actually ended up being the surgery that affected her ability to get jobs. Quoting, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out anonymous. She told publications in 2012 that it was the nose job from hell and she'll always be this once famous actress nobody recognizes because of a nose job. After her first surgery, turns out she was thrilled with the way she looked. But then less than a year later, she noticed a tiny bit of cartilage was visible under the surface of her nose, so she underwent a second surgery to correct the issue. But when she woke up, she discovered that she no longer looked like herself at all. To make matters worse, when the public got wind of the situation, the star felt humiliated as many people did not believe she was Jennifer Grey anymore, and she often had to go to great lengths to prove she was who she said she was. Since becoming a household name as a glamour model back in the 90s, Katie Price's brand has become synonymous with plastic surgery. As the 44 year old status has risen over the last two decades, so has the number of times she's gone under the knife, leaving her now completely unrecognizable from her former self. But Katie has always been honest about the work she's had done, like the fact that she's had a whopping 12 boob jobs over the last 25 years, and she got the first one when she was just 18. But a trip to Turkey for one of the procedures resulted in a botched boob job. She's also had veneers done, and in June of last year, Katie endured one of her most ambitious rounds of surgery yet, as she underwent another facelift on the same day she also treated herself to liposuction and fat injections to her rear end. The TV personality is also a big fan of Botox and has underwent an eye and brow lift that left her face with a sharp, tight look. Plastic surgery is totally synonymous with this brand, and although Katie has said many times that she has no plans to stop going under the knife, just by looking at old pictures, it's easy to see that she looked a lot better before. Famed comedian Joan Rivers was famous for constantly changing her face, but it wasn't until after she passed away that it was revealed just how many plastic surgery procedures she underwent. Her daughter Melissa penned a memoir about Joan's life, where she revealed that Joan had a staggering 348 cosmetic operations over her lifetime, and she was just never happy with the way she looked, which fed into her sense of being less than. We're talking the first surgery? It was believed to have been an eye lift at the age of 32, so not super young, but still. Which this was the same age when she rose to fame on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. In the nearly 50 years since then, she had, among a lot of other things, at least two facelifts, one nose job, and so much Botox that her plastic surgeon told her to stop. Liam Payne debuted a starkly slimmed down face on the red carpet last year, which didn't go unnoticed by fans or cosmetic surgery experts. He didn't look bad before, but his face, instead of looking soft and a little bit chubby, looked modelish and rugged, according to celebrity plastic surgeon Dr. Rampton Kassir, who's worked on the likes of Melissa Gorgia and Lily Pons. Florida based plastic surgeon Dr. Thomas Sue added that he definitely had a more masculine look with sharper chiseled facial features compared to how he looked previously. Pamela Weinberger, founding injector at Plump Cosmetics, agreed, saying his new look is definitely sharper than it was in the past and has a bit of a wow factor. So the experts that were just quoted, who have decades of experience combined but have not worked on him personally, agree that he might have turned to fillers or the celebrity favorite, the getting rid of that fat in your cheek, to achieve his sharp features. One expert said that he might have opted for jawline filler, lip filler, chin filler, and regular maintenance Botox, which is a lot. Whereas Sue pointed out that it might have been chin and jawline lipo, which could achieve the sharper jawline. 
Getting rid of the fat in your cheeks is not reversible. And while a lot of experts agree that there are alternatives that could be attempted to return the facial structure back to its natural look, it's not a guarantee. While Liam himself has not confirmed what he's had done, if anything at all, folks on social media appear upset that he no longer looks the same. One person said, OMG what happened to Liam? And this was under an Instagram post. And another fan tweeted, the fat removal makes me so uncomfortable, I don't know that man. Daryl Hannah has maintained that she's never had anything enhanced surgically, but the public has often compared her to one of the Muppets because of her full lips and cheeks. Top surgeons also spoke with Hollywood Life and explained to the potential surgeries that the splash actress received to achieve her current look. One expert, Dr. Richard Fleming, shared that Hannah had so much work done. We're talking fillers, nose jobs. Her face looks much rounder. Everything about her face used to be much thinner. Cheeks, jawline, nasal lines. Everything was much more pronounced. In his opinion, there's a lot more fullness and it's not a natural contour. He has no idea what they did, but there is filler material in there. Jocelyn Wildenstein marked the beginning of her surgery journey when she received an eye lift during the first year of her marriage to Alec Wildenstein. Experts said she probably has undergone a lot more lifts, plumping injections, upper and lower eyelid surgery, and cheek implants over the years, and it's not looking good. Priscilla Presley fell victim to a botched Botox surgery, but it turned out worse than normal. So a doctor claimed to have something better than Botox, but in reality, it was reportedly illegally smuggled silicone from Argentina that was administered by somebody pretending to be a doctor. And that explains her puffy face, but not the face's waxy look, which was probably caused by a combination of repeated laser treatments and once again, Botox. Too much Botox. At one time, Mickey Rourke was arguably the most devastatingly handsome actor in Hollywood, with the bad boy good looks of a latter day James Dean or Marlon Brando. But years of, uh, how to put it politely, alterations have gradually left him an increasingly strange looking proposition. One would have thought early on that his acting would always be infinitely more important to him than his looks, but it would seem that somewhere along the line, his vanity got the better of him. Likely a desire to keep hold of those looks that made him a pinup. Around 1990 is when his outside began to match his tumultuous inside. His facelift looked too fresh. He was having trouble moving his mouth, and his forehead, once expressive, was way too smooth, motionless, and shiny, like a balloon dipped in bronzer. He couldn't smirk. His eyes were pinched, his crow's feet were very disturbingly gone, his eyebrows were too light, and they don't move. Turns out that eye jobs, for the first year at least, make any recipient's eyes appear smaller, and they lose any roundness below during that surgical elimination of under eye bags. Well, Mickey's eyes lost their ability to transmit emotion. In 1997, his upper lip was freakishly swollen, his nose puffy and flat, and one cheekbone protruded like a purple walnut, probably from a combination of boxing and bad surgeries. Like a bad portrait tattoo of himself, he was only recognizable when you squint. But it was around 1998 when uh, his appearance took a really weird turn. This is around the time his career had taken a dive, following a series of dead rules, some poor career decisions, and a wild reputation. So during the slow ebb, when he considered himself an has-been, he appeared out and about with swollen looking lips, his skin looked kinda icky. Now he did say it was boxing damage that required it, but uh. When his career began its turnaround with films like Buffalo 66, Animal Factory, and this was around 2002, his appearance had changed a lot. But recent years, though his battered appearance suited his Oscar nominated turn in The Wrestler to a T, have seen his visage looking stranger and stranger. Now starting off, we have Madonna. The pop queen Madonna has never avoided trying out different looks, but when she hit the stage to present an award at the 2023 Grammys, she was unrecognizable to even her most devoted fans. Now she probably had several dermal filler injections, which involve injecting gel-like materials beneath the skin, which is why she has changed. Now her use of face fillers produced an inflated appearance that diminished her recognizable characteristics. Now, plastic surgeons weighed in on her appearance, saying that her cheeks have changed significantly, becoming inflated and much fuller. She's lost her signature dimples, also related to using fillers. Her eyebrows were lifted recently, citing her unusually high forehead and above average eyebrows as proof. Now, her changing appearance alarmed fans, who pointed out her strange curves and expressed Expressionless face. Even for someone as powerful as Madonna, her story warns about the dangers of overdoing cosmetic procedures. 
Next is Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman, renowned for her grace and elegance, faced criticism for her altered appearance, which some suspected resulted from facial fillers. Now, her followers' criticisms of her fixed gaze and lack of face mobility overshadowed her natural beauty. Now, despite her expertise and success in Hollywood, Nicole's journey into cosmetic surgeries sparked debate about the difficulties of aging in the entertainment industry. When comparing Nicole Kidman's pre and post plastic surgery photographs, some people believe the actress got a facelift to tighten her skin and minimize wrinkles. Now, there have also been rumors that she may have received Botox injections to lessen wrinkles and fine lines. While critics and fans have speculated that she may have undergone several filler procedures, Nicole has never responded to or denied these allegations. Then we have Black China. Black China seems to have reduced every single cosmetic surgery she's had done on her body. She removed all her facial filler as, as well as went through a breast and butt reduction procedure. Now she's also changed her name back to Angela White. Now the 34 year old used to be known for her exaggerated look, but now she's made some big changes. She spoke to Access Hollywood and opened up about the many procedures she's had over the years and her journey in getting them reversed. She said, This is my fifth boob job. I've had liposuction three times. I've had fillers. I had butt augmentation. And she explained that she underwent an eight hour operation to get rid of a two liter Coke bottle worth of silicone in her bum. Now, that removal resulted in her losing 10 pounds. Now, she explained that she was most worried about that particular procedure because she got the work done when she was just 19, but it wasn't performed by a licensed doctor. She said, This is a regular person that's doing it, so they're getting whatever substance that they're doing and giving it to you. They're not telling you, hey, you could possibly die. My rear would get super inflamed and it would get very hard and very hot and it was very scary. When speaking about her transformation, she said she got tired of having the surgery look because she feels that it's no longer flattering and that it totally changed her face. She said, I don't know why I even did the fillers. I did it because everyone was doing it. Let this be a lesson. I did it when I was so young, I didn't even give my body time to fully develop. Well, China says that she's become a born again Christian. Now, moving on to Simon Cowell. In 2022, Simon Cowell told The Sun, There was a stage where I might have gone a bit too far with fillers. I saw a picture of me from before the other day, and I didn't recognize it was me first of all. Eric, my son, was in hysterics. Enough was enough. There's no filler in my face at all now. Zero. But then, shortly after this interview, he was unrecognizable again because he got fillers. Again. Now, fans have pointed it out, and now experts are weighing in. Renowned celebrity plastic surgeon Dr. Ratman Kassir, who has not worked on the X Factor judge, suspects that his tight and swollen face is due to a combination of fillers and some kind of lift. He just looks like he has way too much volume in his face, which is usually way too much filler in his face, he said. Just block the normal drainage, and you get really, really full face and tight face, as if you stuck a needle in it, it would pop. Kassir points out that he also believes telltale signs that Cowell has indeed gone under the knife are the positions of his eyebrows, cheeks, jawline, and neck. The celebrity looks nothing like he did at the beginning of his judging career, and he looks like a completely different person. On to Kristen Davis. In 2023, Kristen Davis told The Telegraph, I have done fillers and it's been good. I've done fillers and it's been bad. I've had to get them dissolved and I've been ridiculed relentlessly. And I have shed tears about it. Now, in 2021, the And Just Like That actress dissolved her cosmetic fillers after facing endless criticism online for using fillers in Botox. It's hard to be confronted with your younger self at all times, she told the UK's The Telegraph last June. It's a challenge to remember that you don't have to look like that. The internet wants you to, but they also don't want you to. They're very conflicted. Now she wanted to explain that rather than blaming the surgeons, people blamed her for the filters not looking good. People personally blame us when it goes wrong, she said, adding, no one told me it didn't look good for the longest time, but luckily I do have good friends who did say something eventually. 
Then there's Yolanda Hadid. Yolanda Hadid is a model, so of course she had some filler and Botox. Now things went too far with her though, and in a 2019 Instagram post, she said, 55 and smiling from the inside out, finally back to the original 1964. Living in a body free of breast implants, fillers, Botox, extensions, and all the BS I thought I needed in order to keep up with what society conditioned me to believe what a sexy woman should be like until the toxicity of it all almost killed me. It took me many years of undoing some bad choices I made for myself before I finally found the freedom to sustainable internal beauty and acceptance of what is the best version of myself by nobody's standards but my own, she said. Now she had breast implants but had them removed in 2015 after doctors discovered one implant had ruptured and was leaking silicone into her chest cavity, which she says was aggravating her Lyme disease symptoms. Now let's talk about Dana Delaney. Actress Dana Delaney got Botox and it did not go to plan. She said, seven years ago, I'd never heard of Botox. My dermatologist was saying you should try it. He injected my forehead, hit a nerve and created a huge hematoma. Now the nerve has been dead ever since. It affected the muscle in my right eye. So my eye has started to droop a little bit, she said. Now the experience left her wary of plastic surgery, which makes sense. And she's impressed by women in Hollywood who on it. I wouldn't do it, no. My hat's off to Jamie Lee Curtis. She's so smart. She doesn't dye her hair or anything. And Meryl Streep still looks like herself. Diane Keaton, too. I think the really great actresses don't worry about that kind of thing, she said. Now, it's safe to say she won't be trying Botox or any other kind of plastic surgery anytime soon. Up next is Melanie Griffith. Melanie Griffith admitted to having plastic surgery, but after she was criticized, she apparently had the procedure reversed. Now, Melanie had discussed the downside of experimenting with cosmetic surgery in recent years by saying she didn't know how addicted she had become to plastic surgery until people started saying, oh my God, what has she done? Now, in 2017, she admitted, I had surgery 20 years ago. Then about seven years ago, I started doing injections. I think I must have been allergic to it. I went to a different doctor and he started dissolving all the sh that this other woman doctor had put in. Hopefully, I look more normal now. Now, some people think she still had other procedures because she does not look like herself, but it seems like she won't be coming clean about that anytime soon. And finally, we have Lil Kim. Sources close to Lil Kim say that she spent over $19,000 to bleach her skin, get a nose job, and alter her cheekbones. Now, in an interview in 2005, Lil Kim admitted to getting several nose jobs done, and back in the day, Kim was one of the first hip hop artists to undergo plastic surgery. It was widely speculated that she had undergone breast augmentation, chin and cheek fillers, and an eye lift. And speaking about why she wanted to alter her face in the same interview, she added, I think I did it because I was a little too vain at the time. I was trying to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. Adding that she was a bit extensive when it came to surgery sometimes. Looking at her past photos, there is definitely a huge difference between her face and she doesn't even look like her old self. Dr. Jennifer Levine, a board certified plastic surgeon, said that it's clear that there's been some skin bleaching and added that Kim has probably had her eyes done as well. But the biggest differences, according to Jennifer are to her jawline. She could have had Botox injections under the jaw for a more chiseled look, she told Us Weekly. And in case it's not obvious, Kim probably had filter injected into her cheeks. Yeah, Lil' Kim looks nothing like how she did at the beginning of her career at all. Starting us off at number 10 is Victoria Beckham. The fashion designer and former Spice Girl is beautiful nonetheless, but has publicly admitted to regretting her decision on getting plastic surgery. She said what she regrets the most are her breast implants that she got when she was just a teenager. So much so that she ended up getting them removed. She was 18 years old when she first got them done, and during an interview in 2017, she said, I should probably say, don't mess with your boobs. All those years I denied it. Stupid, a sign of insecurity. Just celebrate what you've got. I personally remember idolizing the Spice Girls like religiously when I was young, so to hear that even she would suggest not getting them is very important. I'm honestly really glad that she's open and honest about her experience with it because I think, especially for young girls who still look up to the Spice Girls, this could be very eye-opening for them. Up next, number nine is 
share. There is no denying that the 74 year old icon still looks incredible for her age and we can probably say that plastic surgery has helped with that, but she has openly admitted that. She's always been open about the work she's had done and has cracked jokes about her facelift. But she doesn't regret anything that she's had done to her new face transformation. The one thing she regrets is her breast augmentation. I'm already seeing a little trend happening here. She told People Magazine that the surgery was a nightmare. She said they were really botched in every way. If anything, they were worse after than before. Clearly, that was not the goal when going to get the procedure done, but she has been able to hide it well, and certainly it has not hurt her confidence. Well, that we can tell. Moving on to number seven, we have Chrissy Teigen. She is now known for being a mother to John Legend's kids who tweet sarcastic comments and has her own cookbook and company, but she was once a model with big dreams. In May 2020, she talked to Glamour UK and revealed that she had breast implants done when she was just 20 years old. She said she did it because she was modeling swimsuits at the time and when she laid on her back in the photos, you know, she wanted them to look perky. But then she had babies and said the milk made them deflate. She ended up announcing on her Instagram recently that she was going to have her implants completely removed because she's simply over it. Chrissy seemed excited for the surgery, stating that she wants to be able to zip up a dress in her size and lay on her belly with just pure comfort. When she got them done at 20, she was a model regardless because she was stunning and admits that she didn't need the boobs. You know, she just kind of wanted them. And she was young and a model. I can just imagine the pressures at that age, especially swimsuits. We have made it halfway through and we have Tara Reid. The American Pie hottie has been open and honest about her plastic surgery experience experience in hopes to help other women before choosing to get work done. She got breast implants in 2004, which caused issues for her body in other places. She said that her stomach started to ripple and caused her to have a hernia, leaving her with a huge bump next to her belly button. She regretted it so much that she said it was the stupidest thing she's ever done, and she actually had the procedure reversed just two years later. She also had to get liposculpting done on her stomach to fix what had happened. Even after getting her breast augmentation reversed, she said that she was left again with deformity formed breasts. Oh, it's always a risk, you guys. You know, there are a lot who do have success, but <laughs> that's so scary. In the third spot on our list is Kourtney Kardashian. Plastic surgery is no surprise to the Kardashian sisters, but it might be surprising to know that Kourtney regrets some of it. In 2011, she was talking to Showbiz Spy and said that she wished she didn't get her breast implants when she was 22 or at all. She said, I had my boobs done, but if I could go back, I wouldn't have done it. I was so cute before. I realized that I was made to look a certain way and I'm considering removing them. Now, obviously this interview was years ago and if you see her, these days she has not removed them but her opinion still stands and honestly it's probably even more so now because she's a mother of three so you know she's had to gone through the whole breastfeeding thing the milk and she probably just sees the whole thing from a different perspective now at number 10 amanda lapore american model and socialite amanda lapore is one person who isn't shy at all about the classic surgeries that she's had the transgender model, performer, and now author, who made a name for herself in Hollywood just by being herself, altered a lot of her body over the years and she's even claimed to have the most expensive body on earth due to all of her surgeries. She's written and talked about all of the procedures she's had done and it's quite a long list. She's had a nose job, her hairline lowered, her eyebrows lifted, double eyelid surgery, cheekbone, lip and breast augmentation, gender confirmation surgery, hormones, and she even had her ribs broken and reshaped to alter the size of her waist. She's taken her body to the limit and back again. There came a moment where she really overdid one of her procedures and got seriously botched. The drastic procedure that led her to getting botched was getting silicone lip injections because she said that since she had gotten them done about 20 times and went a little overboard, she had to get them reduced because they just got way too big. A lot of people think that she's botched more than just her lips because of how drastic and plastic her looks are, but they're so out there that I think it's almost normal because that's just who she is and if she's happy with it then there's nothing left to say at number nine zach efron now this one isn't exactly a confirmed case of botched plastic surgery but it sure is causing a lot of commotion because people think it might be a lot of people have been throwing around a lot of speculation and concern regarding zach efron and his appearance 
Zach recently showed up in a video about Earth Day looking pretty swollen and a lot of people think that is the result of a plastic surgery gone wrong. In the video, the lower half of his face was looking very puffy, almost like he had gotten a lot of Botox done or some other kind of procedure, and a lot of people are super concerned that Zach might have taken his looks too far. According to one celebrity plastic surgeon, they think that it looks like Zach may have gotten fillers to reshape his jawline or that he had actually gone under the knife and that there was some residual swelling going on. If that's the case, then we don't know if this puffy look is here to stay or not. It's all just a very sudden change that a lot of people weren't expecting and a lot of people are just looking for answers. Now before I carry on with the list, I'd like to ask you guys to consider leaving a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far and also check out my gaming channel Viper Girl if you're interested in enjoying some cool gameplay content and subscribe while you're there. At number 8, Priscilla Caputo. Priscilla Caputo rose to fame for being botched so I feel like she's perfect for this list. Back in the day, Priscilla was an aspiring model but her modeling career was very short lived because she took her looks too far and got botched stopping her career dead in its tracks. She was left an internet laughingstock, gaining fame because she had gone too far with her appearance, and now she's an advocate against getting plastic surgery. Priscilla explained that her boyfriend, who was a plastic surgeon, kept giving her lip fillers and soon she became addicted and couldn't stop. Her lips became too big and because of her appearance, her modeling career tanked. After her photos were circulated online, she became an internet laughingstock and she couldn't go back and fix her lips because she had injected so much into them that she permanently stretched them out and the damage was just too much to repair. In a way, her modeling career turned her into an example of what not to do when getting injections. At number 6, Carrot Top. American comedian Carrot Top is pretty well known for his signature looks. With his bright orange hair and crazy expressions, no one can mistake him, that's for sure. However, over the years, there's been speculation that the comedian has undergone a few cosmetic surgeries that have him looking a little different, and some say that he's been botched. Though he's denied ever having received plastic surgery and mostly credits his looks to his gym habits, there are others out there who believe that there's something a little artificial that the comedian has been hiding from his fans. It's believed that the comedian has received an eyebrow lip, Botox injections, lip filler, and laser peels, which many people see as the reason that his freckles are less evident. Because of the fillers and lifts, a lot of people think that his face has been left looking a little too stiff and fake, leading fans to label him as botched. But what do you guys think? Is he botched or not? At number three, Jocelyn Wildenstein. When you look up the most drastic celebrity appearances, a photo of Jocelyn Wildenstein will no doubt show up in your search. Her looks are a prime example of someone taking plastic surgery way too far. Though she was a model back in the day, too much plastic surgery has altered her appearance forever to the point where she's mostly plastic and mostly botched. Jocelyn apparently started changing her appearance to make her husband happy, and she even modeled her look after Big Cats because her late husband was a Big Cat lover. She reportedly kept a lynx as a pet and said that because she thought the Big Cat's eyes were so perfect, she wanted to look just like it. Unfortunately, she went too far with her look. Over the years, she's gotten surgery on her eyes to make them look more cat-like, as well as receiving brow and facelifts, injections, implants, and more. She's left looking nothing like she did before all the surgery, with her entire face being remade into something completely new and unnatural. Even though her appearance is quite drastic, Jocelyn has said that she's not done altering her looks, but honestly, I don't know if it can get any more botched. But if it works for her, then I guess that's what matters. At number two, Farrah Abraham. Teen mom star Farrah Abraham has been under the knife a number of times, but it just takes that one horrible moment to make you rethink all of your plastic surgery choices. You might have seen the infamous photo of Farrah Abraham's botched lip procedure, but let me tell you the story of how she got into that mess. In 2015, the reality star opened up about how she had a negative experience when she went under the knife for an experimental lip implant procedure. Farrah said that when she got the procedure done, she knew very quickly that something was wrong when the anesthesia just wasn't working for her. She didn't do much about that, but after the procedure was done and the implant was put in, that's when things started to take a turn for the worse. Turns out, Farrah had an intense reaction to something during the procedure that caused her lip to swell up like crazy, leading to those crazy pictures. 
Luckily, she was able to get things sorted out and her lip went back to normal, but she did say that this was a really scary experience. Kicking off our countdown at number 10 is Bella Hadid. The famous model is beautiful nonetheless, but her transformation goes under the radar sometimes with people not realizing how much her appearance has changed. But she's always been very defensive when it comes to rumors that claim she has had plastic surgery done and other procedures like face fillers. During a 2018 interview, she responded to comments on it and said, people think I got all this surgery or did this or that. And you know what? We can do a scan on my face, darling. I'm scared of putting fillers in my lips. I wouldn't want to mess up my face. But looking at photos from the start of her career in 2010 until now, she looks completely different. And if it isn't surgery or cosmetic procedures, what caused the drastic change? She's denied everything, so maybe one day she will give us a real answer. Up next, number nine, we have Sharon Osbourne. Unlike Bella, Sharon has always been very open and honest about her journey with plastic surgery. In 2016, she admitted that she was on her third face at that point and revealed she hasn't always liked the work that she's had done. She said, in a lot of shots, my face looks plastic and at certain angles, I'm like, oh dear, I should have never done that. But that has not stopped her from getting more done. In September of 2019, on the premiere of The Talk, she shared with the audience that she had gotten a facelift five weeks prior. She said she had her neck done to make her face look more refreshed. You wouldn't think she looks much different in more recent times because she's been getting work done for a while now, but when you see her before pictures, you really get to see just how much her face has changed throughout her life. Honestly, didn't even know what she looked like before until I saw that. I was like, what? Different person. Stepping our number eight spot, we have the Bogdanoff brothers. Igor and Grishka Bogdanoff are identical twins known for being French TV presenters, producers, and scientific writers. But they are also known for their very drastic plastic surgery transformation, which has gotten the attention of media all over the world. Back in the 1970s, they were known for their handsome looks and were sharing screen time before they got addicted to cosmetic surgery. In 2010, it was reported that they each had a number of chin and cheek implants as well as fillers and Botox. But a little too much of all of the above because their face looks permanently swollen all the time and they now have a very cat-like look to them. When seeing the before and after pictures, it is crazy to see how much their face has changed. Halfway through the list at number five is Adrienne Ballant. People started telling her she looks like one of the Kardashian sisters now after seeming to have worked done on her face. Fans started calling her out after her pictures online showed her lips looking more plump and her face taking a more contoured shape. Adrienne has been open about going under the knife for her breast implants when she was just 19 years old, but claims she has never touched her face. During an interview in 2014, she said she would never touch her face, but people don't believe that she has stuck to her word now that her face looks drastically different. A plastic surgeon even chimed in on the situation and said, I think she's had rhinoplasty and lip filler and maybe cheek augmentation as well. Her lower lip used to be twice as thick as her upper lip. Now they are almost the same thickness. Regardless, she's still beautiful. I honestly think people are just still holding on to her from looking like the Cheetah Girls. I mean, I kind of do that. I just remember her as the girl from the Cheetah Girls. Here now at number four is Tori Spelling. Just last month, she was making headlines for allegedly getting more plastic surgery done, but this was not the first time that this has happened. After rumor mills started claiming she had even more work done on her face, she finally commented on it while talking to The Sun. She said, people have been talking about me having plastic surgery since I was 17. It's the one thing that has stayed with me my entire career. She's revealed in the past that she has had a nose job and her breasts done, but says that she hasn't had anything since. She said that when people say she's had extensive amounts of plastic surgery done over years, that is simply not true. But because of how drastic her face changes seem to be, people don't believe that she has not touched her face since then. It seems like more than just one nose job was done, but she has not admitted to anything else. She did admit though that she looks very different, revealing that her kids don't even recognize her in reruns of 90210. Taking over our number two spot is Latoya Jackson. When seeing her transformation pictures side by side, you probably wouldn't even believe that the two photos were the same person. It's no secret that the Jackson family has had their fair share of cosmetic procedures done, each of them making headlines for it at one point in time. Latoya was making headlines in 2017 for being one nose job away from completely losing her nose. Paparazzi photos got the attention of some of America's top plastic surgeons who claim that she could literally lose her nose if she gets more work done. They pointed out that the outer flare of her nostrils have been overly narrowed to a point 
of near disappearance. Dr. Lyle Back said that each surgery on the face carries the risk of more collapsing and said that it could be almost impossible for her to breathe through if she continues to get work done. And I've seen photos of people who lose their nose. It is terrifying. That's a thing. You can literally just lose your nose. And at number 10, Paul Stanley. The Kiss frontman looks very different now than when the band was in its height. And people think the change is due to cosmetic procedures. It's rumored that he had a nose job, facelift, along with other fillers and Botox. Some evidence also suggests he may have underwent an eyebrow lift and a lip job. Stanley has only admitted to one procedure, and that was an ear reconstructive surgery. He got this because he was born with a condition, microtia, which caused him to not have a right ear. While speaking with SiriusXM's Jim and Sam video interviews, Stanley also admitted to having his rotator cuffs repaired, along with a hip replacement and cartilage repaired in his knees, but nothing related to his appearance. And at number 9, Michaela Romanini. For many years, she was one of Italy's biggest stars and was titled one of the most beautiful women in the country. But after getting many cosmetic procedures, she was left looking completely unrecognizable from her former self. We're not sure exactly what procedures that she's gotten, but it's clear her lips, eyes, and skin look drastically different. Some media outlets even say she looks like an alien. But even with all the criticism around her looks, she apparently does not regret any of her procedures. Some reports even claim she is now addicted to surgery, specifically lip collagen injections. Halfway number 5, Jackie Stallone. The late mother of A-list actor Sylvester Stallone revealed that she had many plastic surgery regrets in a 2013 interview. When asked if she had had work done, she said, quote, I do and actually I've gotten too much. I look like I've got a mouthful of nuts. It's Juvederm, too much of it. I feel as though I look like a chipmunk. She continued, Juvederm plumps you up here, pointing at her cheeks, but it looks like you have a mouthful of walnuts. She then explained that she's had about three chemical peels and about 50 injections over her lifetime. She revealed that she had never tried Botox because naturally she did not have wrinkles in her forehead. Jackie claims that she believes in plastic surgery, but thinks that Beverly Hills doctors are overrated hacks, saying that she went to other states to have work done because she doesn't trust Beverly Hills surgery. In at number 2, Lisa Rinna. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star is known for her signature pout that she achieved through the help of fillers. But she's gotten some other procedures that she's regretted. Apparently after she tried Botox, she was totally botched. Lisa said that she got Botox in her cheeks because all of her friends were getting it done and she wanted to try it out for herself. But after the procedure was done, Lisa said, quote, I saw a photo and I was like, oh Jesus, that's not good, that is not good. But after that experience, she's learned that less is more, saying that she still likes Botox, but won't do anything that changes the shape of her face. In at number 7, Christina Aguilera. In 2018, Christina stepped out with an entirely new appearance, which got fans talking. Her face looked very puffy and swollen, possibly from getting too much filler. Surgeons and fans had tons of reactions to her new look. One plastic surgeon said, quote, Christina may have the appearance of fuller cheeks due to increased volume from fillers such as Voluma or Restylane. Another said, I believe that Christina's puffiness can be attributed to overfilled facial fillers like belly fill or Voluma. She probably tried to fill out any wrinkles and give her face some youthful fullness. Her lips are also fuller, most likely from lip fillers. In 2015, it was also reported that Christina got a nose job. One surgeon said that he believes her doctor used cartilage to rebuild her nose after her first nose job was botched. At number 6, Justin Judlica. Justin Judlica, also known as the real life Ken doll, got famous because he was on the show Botched and became a fan favorite, so obviously I had to include him in this list. Justin became famous because of his exaggerated looks, because he made it his life's mission to become a real life Ken doll. For him, the more plastic he looks, the better. Obviously, Obviously, Justin wasn't born looking the way he does now, and if you look at old pictures of him, you can really see how drastically different he looks. Justin was on the show Botched very early on in the show's first season, making his debut in the series' first episode. He said that he's received about a thousand surgeries to achieve the look that he has now, and there's no sign of stopping his transformation anytime soon. Justin said that he became obsessed with his appearance after growing up watching the show Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous, and recalling that everyone on that show had plastic surgery. To him, he believed that this lifestyle meant that you were successful, and so he's made it his mission to look like an unrecognized recognizable plastic doll. Halfway at number 5, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson first gained fame through the Jackson 5 as a child, and as he grew up, he started to look unrecognizable from his child self. At some point, his appearance changed so much, it was clear that he was undergoing plastic surgery. Much of it was deemed botched by the general public. It's rumored that he underwent countless nose jobs, as well as skin bleaching. However, Jackson claimed to have vitiligo, and that's why his skin lightened over time. 
When asked about his nose job, Jackson told Martin Bashir, quote, I've had no plastic surgery on my face, just my nose. It helps me breathe better so I can hit higher notes. I've had two nose jobs as I can remember. However, many plastic surgeons speculate he had far more than two nose jobs and that he developed nasal cripples due to the lack of tissue to breathe through. And at number three, Ariel Winter. Ariel gained notoriety as a teen star acting on Modern Family. Since leaving the show, her look has gotten incredibly mature, and many think this isn't solely from genetics. On one Instagram post, fans were calling out Ariel for changing, saying that they liked how she looked before plastic surgery. Ariel was so offended by the comment that she actually responded to it, saying, quote, I appreciate you wanting to help girls love themselves the way they are, but you're also kind of cutting someone, me, down, which isn't what I think you were trying to do. I also didn't get plastic surgery. That's also not being supportive of women if you're just assuming something about the way they look. She's been open about getting a breast reduction in 2015, but many think she is lying and had more procedures. It's also been speculated she receives lip filler along with getting a small nose job. At number two, Barry Manilow. Some celebrities aren't shy about the work they've had done, and others go to great lengths to hide it. One celebrity who has continuously denied their plastic surgery is singer Barry Manilow, because even though there's been a lot of proof to indicate he's had work done, and the fact that he looks unrecognizable after all of those procedures, he still claims to be all natural. In an interview, Barry claimed to have only undergone surgeries and treatments for his health, like getting hip surgery and receiving steroid shots, but judging by the way that he looks nowadays, a lot of people aren't buying that and have pretty much revealed that he's been lying about getting work done for cosmetic purposes. It's been reported that over the years, Barry has undergone several procedures, including having had three facelifts and eyelid surgery. There are even photos of Barry from 2003 showing him leaving the plastic surgeon's office in Beverly Hills. In the photos, he's seen wrapped up in bandages while wearing a disguise of sunglasses and a blonde wig in order to avoid being recognized. But we all know that it's him. He's not fooling anyone. And finally, at number one, Celine Dion. In 2018, following the passing of her longtime husband, sources say that Celine tried to improve her look with cosmetic procedures. But the procedures were botched, and she looked nothing like herself. The source said, quote, she totally lost her looks and is unrecognizable. The word is she went under the knife to try and give herself a fresh start, but whatever she's done, it clearly hasn't turned out very well. One plastic surgeon who did not treat Celine, Dr. Dave David, noted the changes are so drastic he wouldn't recognize her if he saw her out. Quote, she looks terrible, haggard, and homely. The doctor believed she had a nose job, fillers in her cheeks and under the eyes, Botox in her upper lip, and had her eyebrows thinned and lightened. And it's not a stretch to assume Celine had some procedures done as she revealed in the past that she is open to receiving facial filler.